make sure you hit the like button subscribe and share and be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when i'm posting more videos and you'll never miss one thank you peace and enjoy the video it's your boy the news welcome to the vendetta army What up guys, it's your boy, Big Will, Manute. This time we're going to be reviewing The Witcher on Netflix. Came out December 20th or somewhere around there. I binged it over the weekend and I have to say that this is amazing. It is, this is great. This is a wonderful show. Once again, Netflix is putting out the best television programs out right now, whether it be movies, television series, um, comedy specials, documentaries, Netflix is killing it. With all the other streaming services that have been dropping and everybody trying to get in on this juggernaut, the granddaddy of them all keeps proving why they are the best. You can take all the shows away, Disney Plus. You can take all the shows away. Um, HBO um, and everybody else will just create our own content they got the money to do it they've been doing it the longest everybody's copying their format their layout and they just keep putting out gold they just keep putting out gold and this is just another example of it this was amazing um, first of all I know nothing about the source material I didn't read any of the books I haven't played any of the games because I heard frankly that they were just hard I heard they were extremely hard and I don't got time for all that I haven't even finished the, the new God of War I mean I don't got time to invest in something that's extremely difficult I need to pick after this watching this series I'm probably gonna pick it up and at least give it a try but I think the older ones are on other platforms and I don't know I probably won't but this was good this was amazing I'm thoroughly looking forward to um, seeing more of this I may go back and rewatch it but this is if you want to know if this is any good this is my honest opinion it is it is great it is great plot wise um, uh, Henry Cavall's character um, plays a uh, Garot I think that's his name and he's what they call a witcher he's like a hybrid mutant I'm guessing like half human half demon vampire type thing he, he pops these potions that pretty much like brings out like his evil side apparently some witches or sorcerers and I guess elves are like the main source of magic you know elves like taught people all the magic and they taught humans magic then they turned on the humans and then they outcasted the elves you know typical uh, typical plot line right there but I guess they did something to him as a young child it's like a trial type thing you know not all people make it he's one of the ones to make it and witchers they pick they pretty much are monster hunters in this world they hunt monsters they're there's a love-hate relationship with them some people love them for what they love them for what they can do to help save them but then they hate them also because they're different you know so he's a monster hunter and he goes around hunting monsters and won't and to get paid basically He's like a bounty hunter for monsters. He goes around from town to town, um, killing things, you know, and all he wants to do is eat, drink, have sex and get pay and get paid. I mean, this, this, this movie, it's a, it's a time jump. It time jumps. That's, that's why I'm trying to, trying to recap it because I didn't figure this out till about, epi there's eight episodes till about, you know, episode maybe three four i realized that we were jumping all over the place 
there's like a there's like the past a present and then like a a further back in the past it like jumping all over the place like there were times where uh, henry cavell's character was was in a certain scene the whole time you don't find out that he was there until like the last two episodes of the season that he was in one of the most pivotal um parts of the show that he was there in the dungeon the whole time you know him and yin free um have a romantic um relationship everybody ends up meeting everybody but um henry cavell's character basically is tied to um freya allen's character um siri the princess who has like this amazing ability too she's like the most important part of this other of the, of the, the series the uh, one of the invading um um kingdoms that invades her main home because i was thinking her home was like the good guys but it turns out that that queen the war the warring queen was completely evil and like a re really not a good person to when she died i didn't care i was happy you know it reminds me of cersei like if Cersei actually could put on armor and fight, that's what that queen reminded me of. You know, so like it's it's, it's hard to explain trying to sit here and recap it because of the time jump. But just to let you know, it's it's a good movie. The magic is is awesome in it. Uh, visually, it's stunning. Um, it is really good to look at. If you're a fan of the game, you may feel or or the books, the source material, you, you may feel a certain type of way. But what I've been hearing is that it stays true i don't know like i said because i haven't played it i think it's amazing i think it's definitely worth to check it out definitely two thumbs up um there's some twists and turns like i said with the whole the, the reveals um about the time jump and that's something i'm not trying to i was trying to give you an outline of the plot and i'm not really spoiling what really happens in the show but just to let you know about the time jump because if i think if you know that going in that it will help you um watching the movie if you know that there's a there's they're, they're jumping all over the place in time because i wish i'd have known that because i was sometimes i was sitting there one, thinking like what the what the hell and there are some people that i have heard i mean it's not all good some people were being turned off by the first two or three episodes and i think it's primarily because of the time jump they don't know that it's jumping around in time i think if you know that you you give it a chance with the the way it, the pacing because the pacing is weird i'm not gonna get you wrong the pacing is weird characters get introduced and you're like um what you know because there's time jumping going around you know if you if you know about the time i keep harking on that if you know about the time jump it makes sense but like i said the magic and the, the battles and everything are extremely extremely well done it's um it's good we're real good i mean good it's good to see good magic on tv and it's all about mages mages are like the main sorcerers um elves um he does a, a lot of monster hunting um way more than i thought that they would considering that they're you know first season they got to establish plot established characters and they really um don't shy away from um the monster hunting aspect of uh of him they really let him let him do that so um thoroughly enjoyed the show i thoroughly suggest you go check it out and hell i mean it's on netflix i mean Go get Netflix and watch the show. And um, I'm pretty sure that the season two is coming. I mean, this for what I've been hearing, this is a, a huge hit. Um, so definitely check it out. It's uh, it's definitely worth. Uh, like I said, I binged it. It's eight episodes. They're all about 45 minutes. Um, it's definitely binge worthy, you know. And so good to sit down, you know, do a nice uh, drink of choice. Um, smoke it if you got it type thing and enjoy it <sighs> hydration people hydration so there you go make sure you hit me on my social media down there at the bottom minute 316 on twitter minute brewer instagram big brew 316 on mixer um william minute brewer on facebook it is like it's not a like a um it's my personal Facebook, so hit me up on there. Um, notification bell, so you know when I'm posting more videos. And till next time, peace, grease, happy holidays, and everything like that. Deuces. <laughs>